Here's the simplest way to add page numbers in Excel. Go to View and click Page Layout. The screen will change to show what it would look like if you wanted to print your data. Click into the Add Footer area at the bottom. A new ribbon will appear at the top called Header and Footer. Make sure that ribbon is showing by clicking on the words Header and Footer. Click the Page Number button to add the page number. The number won't actually appear until you click back into the main body. You can also add the number of pages. Go back into the footer and make sure the header and footer ribbon is fully showing again by clicking the words header and footer. Add a space after the last bracket. Type in the word of, then another space. Then click the button that says number of pages. Click back into the body and the new numbering will be in place. If you ever expand the number of pages in your document, the page numbering will update itself. You can do many other things with the page numbering. By clicking into the footer and jumping to the home ribbon, you can bold, italicize, or change the color of the numbering. Just make sure the entire formula is highlighted when you do that. On the header and footer ribbon, there are many other options too, like adding the time and date. That should get you on your way to using the page numbering in Excel. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. If you'd like to learn how to use the filtering function in Excel, click the video that's linked on the screen in front of you. Have a good day, everybody.